Hello everybody and welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts 2. So, just want to say I'm sorry. Last episode, at the end, I lied. I said last time we were going to go back to Twilight Town. We're not going back to Twilight Town this episode because Twilight Town takes almost no time and it'll be better uh, for just episode length if I do it after going to the Lion King world because in the Lion King world we're going to get something that will allow us to do another side quest in addition to the Twilight Town chapter after we complete it. So it'll hopefully, instead of getting like a 15 minute Twilight Town video, you'll get a half hour video of Twilight Town and the side quest. Also, both the drive form and the new Keyblade that we get for completing Twilight Town is not going to help us for the Lion King world at all. So we're just going off to Sunlight Storm. It's going to be the final gummy mission, gummy ship mission we do for a long while. If Highwind Level 7 and Falcon Level 3, <laughs> even though we got Falcon Level 5 also, we're going to do Highwind Level 7. Yeah. Metal Orbs. The metal level is shown in the top left corner. Defeat enemies and collect metal orbs to get more points and score higher metal levels. Let's go! Ah, uh, this music kind of sucks. This is the music we had on going to the Olympus Coliseum as well. Also, can't remember if I said it this already, but the Lion King world is completely optional. You do not have to do it in order to beat the game at all. So, if you don't really care about doing all the worlds or getting all the stuff, don't bother going. However, it's a very cool world. Plus, Kingdom Hearts 2 is really great, so I would recommend doing pretty much every world. With one exception. Yeah, the game doesn't really care if you've beaten all the worlds or not, it just cares if you've unlocked all the worlds, basically. Like, if your gummy ship can go to all the worlds. Oh hey, this guy looks friendly. That's a lot of bullets. It's kind of interesting how it's like a gummy ship cave. I mean, that's kind of cool. The gummy ship does get better in every new Kingdom Hearts game. I still like the first game's gummy ship levels better, even though I totally agree that they, they are worse levels. It's just more fun to be able to create your own gummy ship than that. And the fact that all the gummy roots are interconnected. Whereas this is more just like they're all very much disconnected. But it's more well done. It feels... I'm not going to say it feels like a Star Fox level, but it feels more like a Star Fox level than the original games did. Oh, hi. Are you going to be nice? No, you're not. I just want to go to the Lion King world. Is that too much to ask? <laughs> Apparently it is. Ooh. Oh, well, um, thanks whoever did that. Oh no, it's this thing again. We're actually in danger of dying here. I'm proud of, uh, I'm proud of it. I'm critical mode. This one's a lot harder. Okay, we didn't kill it, but we at least escaped. Root open! Mission levels 1 and 2 unlocked. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Highwind level 8 blueprint obtained. Falcon level 8 blueprint obtained. Garage door opening. Ultima G. Not that that will do anything. Metal level 9. It's a new record. And that is, again, the last gummy ship mission we're going to be seeing for a very long time in this Let's Play. Anyhow, off to the Pride Lands. Which was going to be in Kingdom Hearts 1, except they couldn't get, uh, well, more into that in a little bit.
So the char the character models in this in this world in particular, their facial expressions are very uh, not well done. Simba's like always smiling. Simba, maybe don't no! smile when you're no! recalling that. That, lo that cloud looks like a lion. Alright. Welcome to the Pride Lands. This is a really cool world. Hey, check us out. And this is why the world wasn't in Kingdom Hearts Light 1 like it was going to be. Because we're a lion Sora who actually plays completely differently from regular Sora. And they apparently couldn't get the, like, Lion Sword to work well in Kingdom Hearts 1, so they had to wait till Kingdom Hearts 2. This place is kind of creepy, though. Uh -huh. Oh, they look friendly. <laughs> Heartless? Oh, I don't know, Sora. Oh, I get the feeling they might live here. Don't mind us, just passing through a little bit of trouble. Yeah, that's right. Don't be silly. We love you to stick around for lunch. Um, we didn't bring anything to eat. <laughs> that's not gonna be a problem. Um, gosh, Sora, I think we're the lunch. <laughs> oh, there's that's a lot of hyenas. Donald could just fly away. Going somewhere? D you know. Man, that scar's got the worst timing. Just let him roll up. Eh, we better go see what he wants. Sounds like he's grumpy enough already. Oh, thanks, Scar. You saved us. I don't know what that was about, but I'm glad it's over. <laughs> Everything's harder on four legs. Why do I stop practicing? I found a trick to it. Here, let me show you. Well, thanks, Goofy. Yeah, so welcome to the gorge of the private. Really, Donald, of all the places we had to land, we landed in the elephant graveyard. Sorry. <laughs> Not my fault. It actually totally is. Yeah, we're Lion Sora. We're really fast. And Lion Sora has his own abilities. So yeah, he plays very differently, so all these action abilities are different. Combo Upper knocks a target into the air during a combo with uh, Square. Aerial Impulse tackles and attacks a target in midair during a combo with Square. Finishing Blast deals damage to nearby enemies at the end of a combo with Square. Retaliating Slash when knocked down quickly regain balance and attack with Square. So a lot of these just have to do Square. We also have support abilities. Why do we have all these combo pluses? Oh, we can't even unequip these combo pluses apparently. But that's okay, that'll make combo boost really nice. And we've got air combo boost as well from our Keyblade, so nice. Cool. Uh, Goofy, you have a new ability once more. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I don't think you... Uh, I'd rather you have once more than hyper healing. So this way, Goofy will be very, very difficult to kill. Also, another thing we got the last time was Magnet. We're going to replace Thunder with Magnet. Actually, no. No, we're going to place Fire with Magnet. Because Thunder actually could be useful. 
fire in this world is not going to be useful. Also, while we are in lion form, we cannot use dry forms, and I believe we can't use summons either. So that's a little bit of annoying, and that's kind of why I wanted to do this before <laughs> before we went up back to Twilight Town to get a new dry form. We're gonna have to learn how to defend ourselves, being on all fours like this. I bet there are lots of moves we can't we could do that we normally couldn't. So Goofy's a turtle, and he has like a shield on his shield on his back. Donald is a bird who carries his uh, staff and his talents. If Kyrie shot you like this, I bet she'd think you were cute. I guess those magical clothes of yours transformed you. How does that explain what happened to you two, though? We get a Miffle Stone in there. Yeah, all of this, the chests are like gourds in this. The Savannah map. And a dark gem. Nice. Lion King World is huge, too, because you're really fast. Oh, wow. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Huh, what? What do we do? Stay back. Lion Cub here. I like how Sora Lion Sora still has the hair. Defeat all of the Harvests. These are new Harvests. These are known as Living Bones. Try to show off what Magnet's like. So Magnet makes this little diamond you can barely see, and it pulled them all into it. And they couldn't do anything while they were in it, and we could just slash it. It's really nice, but it's just expensive to use. Definitely heartless. Thank you. You really saved me. We're just glad you're okay. <laughs> and Lion Sora wields his keyblade in his mouth, which is kind of funny. Do you see any other heartless around here? Heartless? Is that what they're called? I'm not sure if there are any others. I don't usually hunt outside the Pride Lands. But this is part of the Pride Lands. Hey, do you know if a guy named Riku is there? Or some bad guys in black hoods? Or maybe this really big bully named Pete? <sighs> oh, Let's well, just leave. We might as well go take a look anyway. Wait, the Pride Lands are dangerous. Scar and the hyenas have made things unbearable for everyone. There's no food left. They've driven off the prey. We're about to starve. We can handle a little danger. You just saw us beat those heartless, didn't you? I guess you're right. You could be just what the kingdom needs. Maybe you can help us. Yeah. You mean take on this Scar guy and all those hyenas? Scar? He took over when our last king, Mufasa, died. So you're saying this guy's your king? You want us to take down your king? Yeah, he sucks. Wait just a minute. We can't just go around knocking kings off their thrones. But then again, if they see that I'm stronger than their king, maybe they'll ask me to be their next king. Sora. <laughs> I'd have to refuse, of course. Still. I'd like to see the Pride Lands, so you guys don't mind lending them a paw, do you? Uh-oh, there it goes again! Do, do, do. She's gonna go on ahead and tell the other lionesses. We're supposed to meet her at a place called Pride Rock. Cool. We don't know what it looks like or anything, but sure. <laughs> well, we got the regular old shadows as well. Pretty simple. This whole area, the elephant graveyard, is huge. Lots of chests hidden here. Let's do our best to try to find them. That leads back to the gorge. Yeah, all right. We don't want to go back there. This is a new enemy. This is an aerial knocker. They're pretty simple. They're just kind of basic aerial enemies. Bright gem. Nice. Soldiers. It's nice that Lion Sword can uh, use magic while moving around, whereas regular Sword can't. So it's kind of like you do have a little bit of wisdom form. We can't get that puzzle piece yet. More aerial knockers. You can get a rapid blow uh, reaction command off of them. Mithril Shard. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of those, aren't we? Bright Stone? That's not gruesome or anything. 
Ooh, they're more stone. Yeah. Man, Goofy, you're actually pretty good in turtle form. Yeah, we also can't use our normal limits. We may get special limits that only Lion Sword can use, but we don't have any of those yet. Alright, I think that's all the quote-unquote chests in the Elven Graveyard. Alright, so we're off to Pride Rock. So this is the Savannah. This is, I believe, the largest room in the whole game. Oh boy, we got Silver Rocks again. I'm actually not sure if we can use the Reaction Command that we could in Agrabah. No, we can't. That sucks. I don't think there are any chests in this room, which is nice. Anyhow, off to the Pride Rock. Oh, hi! Get out of your living bone. Pretty basic enemies. Even the new ones, like, the living bones can be very annoying if you let them live long enough. But that's where Magnet helps you take them out. Anyhow, off to Pride Rock. Hey ladies, what you doing? Who's Cranky Kong? He, what's he doing here? That's him. Uh, what? <laughs> this is not what happens in the movie. <laughs> what is it? I told Rafiki you might be able to help us force Scar and the hyenas out of the Pride Lands. But he says it won't work. You see, whoever saves the Pride Lands will be our next king. And he has to have the right qualities. Meaning, well, I think she means you're not cut out for the job, Sora. It's true. <sighs> I'm sorry you came all this way. Hey, no, it's okay. You better go before Scar finds out you're here. I'm really sorry. What is Scar doing, anyways? Watching Great British Bake Off. <laughs> it's easy to get lost in the vast savannah. Try looking for landmarks. Things like bones in the elephant graveyard or the craggy mountain here. Very true, the savannah kind of all looks the same. This place has gone to ruin ever since Scar became king. What are we supposed to do when the hyenas eat up all of our prey? It's a tough one. Okay. Big Gorn. It's just another map of Pride Rock. There isn't any prey anywhere. What should we do is what we should do is cross Wildebeest Valley. But no, Scar would never let us leave here. Well then Scar can go. I'm not going to finish that. Serenity Crystal. Hey. I like the crystal synthesis materials. Mithril Stones. Those are also very much appreciated. <laughs> hey, now, I want to say hi to Scar. 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 <laughs> the king's den is there, where a lone knight of kings once reigned. Now only pretenders to the throne are there. Okay. Scar is cruel and brutal. You'd do well to keep your distance from him. We should get out of here, but I want to see Scar. And I want to hang out. Play a game of pie show with him. <laughs> it's uh, the Stone Hollow. This is where Rafiki hangs out on his days off. You see a painting of a lion. Cool. And there's a save point there. That's important. Oh, hey, bros! And sis. Hey, a snack! Snack? Nah. Mm -mm. We got us a three cross <laughs> meal. I don't think that's actually <laughs> Whoopi Goldberg. Look at that. Here comes Scar, the king. 
and Ryan Pete. And Pete. How did Pete turn into a lion? Oh, no, it's okay. So I mentioned the character models in this world aren't exactly great when it comes to facial expressions. Scar is literally always smiling, so he looks like he's always like on drugs. <laughs> like seriously, watch. <laughs> Pete's still not getting that used. He still hasn't gotten the hang of being a lion. What are you doing here? Oh, the cute little kitty's worried about me. If I were you, I'd be more worried about my friends. Sherry! We're surrounded! Go on, ladies. You've got some hunting to do. The herds have moved on, Scar. We can't hunt in a land with no prey. No prey? Then what do you call this? <laughs> we're not prey. This oh, is a nice and fresh too. <laughs> well, they're all yours, Scar. So Scar wants to eat a fellow lion. Wow, bro, have you fallen that far? We could have taken him. We could have taken on Scar right now. It would have been a hard fight, but we could have done it. Scar is a pretty tough fight on critical mode. I'm sorry I got you involved in this. It's no big deal. Ah, uh, it's not your fault. Sure I wouldn't be a good king. Hey, I had to give it a try, right? So you did want to be king. Well, you know. Uh, Nala, isn't there anybody else who could be king? How do you know it's her, that's her name? She hasn't introduced you. There was, but he died when he was just a cub. He was the son of our last king, Mufasa. Only Simba were here. Sh uh, Simba? But Simba's just fine. He was fighting right beside us not that long ago. Yeah, remember when we got Simba as a summon in Kingdom Hearts 1 and again in Chain of Memories, but that didn't actually happen because of Duke's Ex Machina? <laughs> you mean Simba's alive? But where is he? That, I don't know. He was in a gemstone form when we last saw him. Still, Simba's alive. I can't believe it. Please, tell me more about him. Of course! Well, when we would summon him, we would just ch he would charge up and then roar really loud and then just kill everything. <laughs> that sounds awesome! But first, we should get away from Scar. We'll head through Wildebeest Valley. He won't follow us there. Alright, well... Sure thing. <laughs> Goofy's just... Actually, does Goofy have different abilities because he's a turtle? No, they don't. Okay, they don't. Now we're gonna head to this gap in the rocks over here. More silver rocks. Uh. Oh, hi! More shadows. I got it! I got it! Oh, I'm depressed. Hey, why the long face, Simba? You gotta lighten up and live a little. Yeah, yeah. What were you thinking about? Let me guess. The past, right? Mm. Hakuna Matata! Would you look how he's grown, Pumba? Why, when I rescued the little guy, he was only this big. <laughs> Simba soars like what? Wow. What's wrong? We're never gonna make it. I guess Rafiki was right. What? 
Never mind, it's not important. Here, I'll show you how. You can do it. And now we get a very important ability. Oh, it just did it for us. Okay. Yeah! Sora learned the dash ability. That'll make us run even faster in lion form. Uh, do we have to equip it, or does that automatically get equipped? No, it automatically gets equipped. We move rapidly while pressing down square. Cool. Alright, more enemies. We know what to do with that. Man, we just need a lot of maps in this. I forgot how many maps there are in this world. Oh, I learned one. Oh, yes, I learned once more. Okay, well, we're gonna equip that. <laughs> Alright. Once more, it ensures you will keep one HP even after taking damage from a combo. Yes! That'll make us a lot harder to kill. AP boost. And you will not get once more this early on in the game unless you pick the shield at the beginning. Yeah, you can see just how useful Magnet is. More puzzle pieces. Hmm. Yeah, look how fast we are when we're dashing. That also lets us do a dash jump, which will send us really far. <laughs> All of that grass that Simba made go flying when he slumped over. Well, now it's like, it blows into Rafiki's house and he's just like, Simba's alive? It's like, how do you just figure that out? <laughs> I can smell Simba on this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't question how that Simba's makes sense. Simba's father, King Mufasa, died. We were told that Simba died alongside him. Who told you that? Scar. Well, ain't that a coincidence? <laughs> he wouldn't lie about that or anything. It is time. How did you get across the gorge? It must be Simba. Sora, hurry! Wait up. We're in the wastelands now. There's a lot of enemies on this path. Oh, hi, Living Bone. Uh, Gabber. Yeah, Living Bone can deal a lot of damage if you leave him alive too long. Get back here. There's also a reaction command where you can ride on its back and go slam it around into other enemies. Not always worth it, though. Also, keep an eye out for any gourds. Oh, hey, bros. Rapid blow. Man, we're getting a lot of bubble ups, surprisingly enough. Like, a lot more than I was expecting. Serenity Gym. Oh, two living bones, eh? Yeah, let's, let's magnet them together. Yeah, magnet makes things so much safer. Mithril Stone. Alright, and then... We just warp to the oasis, thank goodness. Or, I'm sorry, the jungle. 
It's a pretty big world, though, you can see. It's just like a lot of space, which makes sense because we're so fast. Okay, this is a shaman that is riding a living bone. I'm not sure if they have a special name or not. But they can be really troublesome. Okay, take them out quickly. Alright. If we do a dash jump with the right timing, then we can get that puzzle piece. First, though, take out the annoying enemies. Actually, pretty much all of these enemies are annoying. Shadows are annoying, they're just easy. They throw stone. There we are, yeah. Daylight puzzle piece. Take that. Do, 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 do. Hey! Keyboard's one, that would have killed them all. Oh, like maybe it did kill them all. Simba! It's me, Sora. Donald and Goofy are here too. Okay, well, last time I saw you, you were definitely a human, a duck, and a dog. Sora, Donald, Goofy! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what happened to you? Ah! Help, Simba! Help! She's gonna eat us! Timon! Pumbaa! Something must have happened in the jungle. I have to go help my friends. Okay, we'll back you up. I don't think we need to. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll just let you do that. We're gonna hang out here until next video, okay? <laughs> Sounds like Simba's friends are in trouble. <laughs> this may be new, a new enemy. Let's go after Simba. <laughs> I wonder what that scream was. It came from the jungle. <laughs> oh, well, you know, uh, okay. Well, I'm sure Simba's got it under control. Yeah, that's fine. We don't really have to go after him. We get the Oasis map. I wonder if that also covers Wildebeest Valley or if I missed that. Anyhow, actually, before we do that, let's open up all the chests, because we might get more synthesis materials. In this giant gourd, we get, oh, more torn pages for Winnie the Pooh's book. Yes. I am so looking forward to that. That's kind of what I wanted to get here before we're going back to Twilight Town. Because Twilight Town should only take about 15 minutes, then we can use the rest of the video going to the second Winnie the Pooh part. Which is the best Winnie the Pooh part in any Winnie the Pooh anything. Alright, AP boost, do a dash. Wow, I actually did that too well. Dash jumps straight over it. Come on. Gonna get this, sweet. Yeah, daylight puzzle piece, sweet. Okay, now we're gonna go to the shop. Buy stuff. Uh, we got the Lord's Broom. That's a new staff for Donald. Used to increase strength and magic. Yes, please. I'll buy one of those. Dream Cloud. A new shield for Goofy. A shield with great strength used solely for attacking. I can't afford it because it's too expensive. Sorry, Goof. Hand over all synthesis materials. We get a defense boost for completing the collection and a magic boost for completing the collection. Dark shards can now be purchased at shops for completing the collection. So this happens um, when you collect enough of a certain synthesis material, uh, material, you'll be able to buy them from the shop. So we have 28 dark shards that we've collected now. So I'm not sure it's the exact number and it might be different for each different material and there's some materials you might not ever be able to buy from shop, but we can now purchase dark shards from the shop if we ever need them. I think it's once you get 30. Once you get 30 of a synthesis material, you can see we have 31 dark shards. Once you get 30 of one type, I believe that's when you can start purchasing them from the shop. May not work, for, okay, it doesn't work for the mithril weapons, the materials at the very least. No, no new recipes, free development. Ooh, funding to shrink it or a soldier. Yeah, let's make this soldier inklet. Use a bright stone. And yeah, we'll use it. In, that only cuts it by one. We have two energy stones though, so I mean, sure, we'll use that. We get the soldier earring. Highly increases maximum AP and strength. Moogle level up. Rank C recipe materials cut in half. Items and creations can be synthesized using only half the materials. So each of these different things has an item rank, you can see. So some of these are B, some of them are A. And some of them, like the Fundica Trinket, are C. I believe it's once we've actually made them, the materials are cut in half. So here we're going to use a Bright Shard and an Energy Shard, so we can actually synthesize all that stuff. 
And make it, boom, Fundica Trinket. Greatly increases, or increases Thunder Resistance and greatly increases defense. Nice. Out of the creations. I can't remember which, yeah, okay, we've already made all those. So there's no point in doing any of the new creations. Uh, we can buy Dark Shards now. I want to be able to buy that Goofy Shield, so. Uh, let's see, we got 12 news. We got a, we got a lot of these. So if we sell... I'll sell 10 high potions, that's fine. And now we should be able to afford the Dream Cloud, yeah. Cool. Before we end the video, let's see. Donald, you now equip the Lord's Broom, that'll give you one extra magic point. That's very important. Uh, you can equip... You can equip the Fundica Trinket, Donald. Goofy, you have the Skill Rain. Equip the Soldier's Earring instead, that'll give you some extra strength as well as the extra AP. Divine Bandana. Uh, you can equip the Protect Belt instead. And make sure you equip the uh, Dream Cloud, which gives him an extra strength. Uh, Fire Gun Angler. Okay, yeah, that should be good. What do I use? Oh, yeah, Magic Boost. Boost Magic by one. Yeah, I want to use that. Uh, defense Boost. Yeah, I want to use that as well. well. Of course we do. No torn pages, Sora. You must come back and fight and fight me. That would be a very different uh, Winnie the Pooh world. We got characters. We got story treasures. There's no way we have all the treasures. Yeah. So we got all the treasures in some worlds, but we're missing quite a few in Twilight Town. We're missing a few in Olympus Coliseum. We're missing two in Agrabah. Yeah, that makes sense. But we're doing a really good job. We got all the treasures in all the other worlds, which is surprising. We also got. Uh, a lot of puzzle pieces. Yeah, we'll go more into the journal later. That's it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'm Colorful Artie, and look forward to next time. We'll be completely finishing up the Pride Lands, and then after that, we will be going to Twilight Town and Hundred Acre Wood. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.